Hey, it's Maddie at MixingMasterMySong.com. Today is uh, the first video I'm going to be doing of uh, some quick series videos just on mixing fundamentals. Basically, just you know how I get in and out of a session and start things, and just every little step that kind of help makes a mix be as good as it can be. Um, so the first we're going to do is just you know opening a session, loading files in, and labeling things, and just showing you how to get your songs organized um, when you first get things started. So the working on this song, uh, it's already been released, but just for our purposes, it's uh, by the artist Cam Meekins called Coffee. Go check it out on Spotify and all the other outlets. Um, so what I always do is I, I start from a template. And as you can see here, I already have that loaded in. Um, if you're interested in my template, I've made a video on it. You can check it out right here um, on my YouTube page. But basically, run through really quick. I got a bunch of reverbs, some plates, rooms, chamber, hall, and then an RMX 16, which is the uh, um, non lin sound or the ambient sound from the AMS Neve reverb I use sometimes. Uh, then a couple kind of phaser spatial effects, bunch of reverbs, I mean, bunch of delays, and then I stem all my different instruments out to uh, summing amp, which we won't really use here just because I got to stay in the box for the video, but. It goes out to my SSL, which you know goes to a kick, snare, drums, drum parallel compression, bass, music, vocals, and effects. So all the returns of my effects, as you can see, go to here. So that's basically the gist of it. And then this is the return, which we won't need. And then um, I side chain my uh, outboard compressor here for EQ purposes. But so we don't have to pay any mind to that. Um, but basically. I like to run everything through stems, um, one, to get out to my SSL, and two, I like to be able to, if I need to just fix the bass or turn the bass up or down a couple of dB, I can turn all, if there's two or three basses, I can turn them all down. Or if I want to turn all the drums up, I can turn them all up. Or if the vocals are a little too loud, bring them down to dB here. And I can even put more processing on if, say, I feel like the vocals need to be a little brighter, just, you know, just a little 20K or something. So it's great to have all your different parts stemmed out here um, later on in the mix when you're, when you're kind of getting things going. Um, so first thing you do is you open up a session, save it as uh, whatever your, your, your files you received are at. So I already know I got these um, stems. This is session saved for 24-bit 44-1K. Now, these are the audio files. I haven't loaded them yet except for the reference mix. Um, these are the audio files and a great program to find out once, you know, if you're receiving stems from another producer to find out what uh, sample rate and bit depth uh, they are at is if you just control and open with um, this program here called Media Inspector and it will tell you exactly what any file is. So you just open it, full report, and it tells me the sample rate's 44.1K, the bit depth is 24 bit. The reason why this is important is you want to stay at the same sample rate and bit depth that you receive the files at just because conversions kind of can start making things not sound as good and you kind of just want to stick with it. The only time I might upsample on the, on the bit depth is if I get 16-bit files um, and that's all they got. I might go up to 24 or 32 just because the plugins will give me a little more depth, um, but that's the only time. So with Studio One, same with any doll really, you just drag the files in, select them all, and I drag them, hopefully, there we go, all to the beginning. So this loads up my files, I hit save so that they all copy in, and all my files are together. Now, the next part that's really important to me is labeling. Now, Cam sends these files labeled really well. Sometimes I get files that the kick doesn't even say the kick. But this will make our job easier. So I like to group everything just like in my buses, um, which I showed you here with the different stem stems out stems I have, bus stems I guess you could say I have. Um, I like to put them in groups accordingly. So I'll take my drums and I'll start just pushing everything to the top. So drums, here are snares. We got three snares in this, push that to the top. Uh, the bass will come next, so I know that's got to be there. Um, and then I'll just kind of look around to see if we got any more drums. So this thing's called a Y. We'll see what this Go! is. 
So that's just a good stone with nothing to do. Um, and so hi hats. Okay, so all our hi hats are there. So all our drums are there. So I'll just select them all, and I like to color my drums yellow. Um, and then my bass, I like to color blue. So that's blue. And the reference mix, we can move up to the top. Uh, we'll talk about that in the next video. And then the rest is probably vocals and music. So I take the vocals are always the last on my list. So we'll move the vocals down. We got verse and hook. And I'll color my vocals pink. Um, someone asked me why pink, and I don't know. I just like that for vocals. And as I go, you'll see, so I'm kind of doing process of elimination. It just helps, helps me move quicker and keeping things. So I see I got a ride symbol here that I missed. So I'll move that up to the drums, color it yellow, and that's good to go. And then, so the rest of these pianos, the sound effects I keep in my last section, which is music. And so it looks like all of these are music, and that is green. And this looks like one more vocal for our bridge. And so we'll go purple with that. And these cuts, I just know because it's Slip Wax. He's a great DJ. Sit back, sit back. Oh, okay, so we're going to put those in vocals. But we'll just color them a different shade of pink so we know. So now, look, we got all our music organized and in different colors so immediately you can go I need drums and I know my drums are there now it's a pretty small session so it's pretty easy to find everything but when you have a session of 90 tracks knowing that the drums are yellow is very helpful so the last part of organizing and loading in is I like to you need to switch them all to the outputs so my kicks are gonna go to the kick bus and you just click here kicks snare is gonna go to the snare bus snares hi-hats to the drums which just that the drums means everything but kicks and snares my bass is going to go to my bass and music to music so music's all the keyboards guitars anything that plays notes is music um, and vocals last but not least will go to the vocal bus so now when we play this What I did to get your ass to date me, maybe it was the out. These are all coming out here now, so I can solo the kick, and it comes out there. Um, so that's that. Um, that's that for the first video. The next one we'll do is the gain staging and how to get these all so it's 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 coming out the right way, so you can get your mix started and not be overly loud already. So check out the next one for gain staging. And if you need these songs mixed and mastered, hit me up at maddie at mixandmastermysong.com. Thanks.